I've seen some of these videos, how to get good at Blender in 2023. And then they start telling you which channels are good, which courses are good, what you should buy. What you... This is not how you're going to, I mean, you don't have to buy nothing, first of all. The, the, the better way to learn Blender is if you just try doing something and then as you go, you're going to stumble upon problems and you're going to try to figure out a way to solve them. And then as you're trying to solve that problem, you're going to look for a solution. And as you look for a solution, you're going to learn about that new shit when you need it. If you just go watch a bunch of Blender videos first before even opening Blender or trying to do a project, this information is not going to be useful to you immediately. You're not going to pay attention because you're not going to understand what the value of this information is, right? So if you really want to get good at Blender or at anything, not even Blender, but anything in this world, just get get to it. Just go elbow deep, just jump in head first, right? And then, you know, don't, don't take it fucking literally. If you can't swim, don't just jump into the sea. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Let's say you want to get good at Blender, right? Since that's obviously it makes most sense to talk about that. But the obvious thing to do, well, maybe it's not that obvious, but the, the, the best thing that you can do, and this is what worked for me, right? I just said, okay, I'm going to model the, a really high quality M1 Abrams tank, right? At the time, it was really high quality for me. Okay, let's see how I can do. I don't know. I don't know how to do a lot of these things, but let's just start. Let's use what I already know until I get stuck. And when I get stuck, then I'm going to look for a way to fix this problem, right? And then once I fix this problem, and once I just, as I go, I'm going to encounter problems. Like maybe I don't know how to make a fucking sprocket. Maybe I don't know how to make track links. I'll just find references online. I'll just figure out a way. I'll learn it as I go. And then when I finish it, finally, I'm going to look back at it. And I'm going to be, okay, well, this part looks a little fucked up. Topology is bad over here. The proportions are bad here. This part needs more bevel. This part is not shaped correctly. You know, after you finish and you look back and then you reflect on it, you see what you did wrong. And you can see, you can see what, uh, what you did right, what you should improve on. And then you start thinking then you can look for some other tutorial, right? Of course, if you're a complete beginner, it doesn't make any sense to try much because you're not going to figure out how to make a tank if you don't even know how to rotate around a fucking cube, right? But if you're if so if you're a complete beginner, you're gonna want to watch a couple of tutorials and follow them. But then once you have your basic knowledge, then just try. Like once you understand how to rotate around an object and how to use loop cuts and shit like that, um, you're gonna have enough tools to make a lot of different objects. So then let's say then you decide to make a little fucking tank, you know, then try to find ways to make a tank. And once you get stuck, look look for new tools, right? So that's really how you get good at, at, at Blender, and it's also how you get good at anything.